Hello friends, I, Dairya Bhatia, welcome you to my YouTube channel, Maths DNA, from origin to infinity. In this video, we are going to solve the questions of CSI Net JRF November 2020, Part C. We will be solving 5 questions from Part C. But before that, let me ask you a question. Are you preparing for GATE 2021 Mathematics? Then here is something for you. We have 1000 plus solved questions and revision material. Here by solved questions, we mean that it will have a step-by-step -step detailed solution as well as counter examples and useful results, which will be helpful to qualify and competitive exam. You can find the link of this in the description below. Now let us begin. The first question we have, it has a quadratic form q x y z over r represents 0 non-trivially if there exists a b c belongs to r cube minus 0 0 0. This is a point to be noted down that we have to not take 0 0 0 because they will give you a trivial solution such that u of a b c equals to 0. Then which of the following quadratic forms q x y z over r represents 0 non-trivially? Remember, we have to find quadratic forms which represents 0 non-trivially and the options are a q of x, y, z equals to x, y plus z square b q of x, y, z equals to x square plus 3y square minus 2 z square c is q of x, y, z equals to x square minus x, y plus y square plus z square and option d is q of x, y, z equals to x square plus x, y plus z square. So let us begin. Simply remember, we just need to find x, y, z belongs to R3 minus 0, 0, 0 such that q of x, y, z will be 0. Let us begin with option A. Option A says q of x, y, z equals to x, y plus z square. So we need to find a pair of x, y and z such that q of x, y, z that is x, y plus z square becomes 0. So let us take x, y, z equals to 1 minus 1 and 1. Then when we put this value in the above given q, we get it as q of x, y, z that is equals to 1 into minus 1 plus 1 square and that will give you minus 1 plus 1 and that is equals to 0. Remember, you only need to find a single combination of x, y and z that will give you quadratic form equals to 0 and that will be a non-trivial solution. You can also take any other x, y, z that makes the quadratic form 0. So it is a correct answer. Moving on to option B. U of x, y, z equals to x square plus 3y square minus 2 z square. Now here you can take x, y, z equals to 1, 1 and root 2. Many students make a mistake over here. They are not comfortable in taking irrational numbers as a solution. But remember, you have to take the numbers from the R, so you can take irrational numbers as well. Just don't take 0, 0 and 0 because they are being removed. So here you will get it as Q of x, y, z that is equals to x square plus 3 y square minus 2 z square and that is 1 into 1 plus 3 into 1 minus 2 into under root 2 whole square and that will give you 4 minus 4 and that is equals to 0. Now how do you find set x, y, z? Just simply take two numbers to be 1 and then try to find the third number that will make the equation 0. So it is also a correct answer. Now option C says q of x, y, z equals to x square minus x, y plus y square plus z square. Now here you cannot find any x, y, z belongs to R3 minus 0, 0, 0 such that q of x, y, z will be 0 because you have three terms of square and that will always be positive and the remaining term that is negative of x, y will not give you a 0 of the equation. So it is incorrect. So option C is not correct. And moving on to the last option that is Q of X, Y, Z equals to X square plus X, Y plus Z square. Now here you can take X, Y, Z equals to 1 minus 1 and sorry 1 minus 2 and 1 and that will give you 1 minus 2 plus 1 and that is equals to 2 minus 2 and that is nothing but 0. So we got three options 
that are correct that is option a option b and option d moving on to the next question let a be an n cross n real matrix and let b be an n cross 1 vector suppose that ax equals to b has no solutions which of the following statements are true the options are a there exist an n cross 1 vector c such that ax equals to c has a unique solution option b there exist infinitely many vectors c such that ax equals to c has no solutions option c if y is the first column of a then ax equals to y as a unique solution and option d determinant of a equals to 0 here we will solve this question using example let us begin you can consider a equals to a 2 cross 2 matrix with entries 1 2 0 0 0 b equals to a vector 2 1 and x equals to some x1 and x2 then it is given to you that ax equals to b which implies that when you multiply a 2 cross 2 matrix a that is 1 2 0 0 0 with x1 x2 you get it as solutions as 2 and 1 and it has no solution as the rank of a that is equals to 1 is less than rank of augmented matrix that is equals to 2 so the example that we have considered satisfy all the given conditions in the question because in the question they are saying that ax equals to b has no solution for easy you can remember that when the last row in the given matrix is 0 and the last element of the given vector is non zero you get no solutions but you can also find it by rank of a is less than rank of augmented matrix a over b now let us check one by one each option that which of the following are correct the first one says there exists an n cross 1 vector c such that ax equals to c has a unique solution we already have the value of a x and let us take c equals to some c1 and c2 now for unique solution we need that rank of a is equals to rank of augmented matrix equals to n n is nothing but the number of independent columns here rank of a is 1 which is less than rank of augmented matrix a over c that is equals to 2 that is nothing but n so the first option is not correct we cannot have n cross 1 vector c such that ax equals to c as a unique solution even if you take c1 and the c2 as zero that is c1 is non zero but c2 is zero then also you, that will not be equals to n so you cannot get a unique solution moving on we have option b as there exist infinitely many vectors c such that ax equals to c, c has no solutions now again taking same a x and c so for no solutions we need that rank of a is less than rank of augmented matrix and here the rank of a is clearly 1 which is less than the rank of augmented matrix for infinitely many c you can take any c and you will always get rank of augmented matrix will be greater than the rank of a so it is correct moving on we have option c as y is the first column of a then ax equals to y as a unique solution now the a we have it as 1 2 0 0 x equals to x1 and x2 and take y equals to the first column that is 1 0 now for unique solution as discussed ahead we need rank of a equals to rank of augmented matrix n equals to n where rank of a and rank of augmented matrix both will be 1 but which is less than n that is number of columns in that is 2 so it is also not correct because it says that it has unique solution but here we get it as it has no solutions and the last option says determinant of a equals to 0 not correct because the a that we have considered has determinant as 0 and also we have a result that if ax equals to b has no solution then definitely the determinant of a should be equals to 0 because the last row will always be 0 after simplifying it so the correct answers are option b and option d moving on to the third question which of the following sets are in bijection with r r that is set of real numbers the options are a set of all maps from 0,1 to n this set of natural numbers b set of all maps from n to 0,1 c set of all subsets of n and d set of all subsets of r if you want to know 
countable and uncountable topic in more detail you can find a complete lecture that i have given earlier on countable and uncountable sets with many examples in that lecture now let us begin for a bijection f from a to b between two sets the cardinality of both the sets should be equal because then and only then you can get a one one onto map now here the cardinality that is co domain of our r is uncountable which means that our domain that will be the sets should also have uncountable elements let us begin with the first option that is a set of all the maps from 0,1 to n now total maps here will be n square that is n into n and which is a countable map and so it is not possible to have a is a correct answer now option b set of all the maps from n to 0,1 and here the total maps will be 2 raised to n that is nothing but continuum in which is an uncountable set so it is correct now option c says set of all the subsets of n that is nothing but again a power set and that will be 2 raised to n as well we again and which will be again continuum in which is again uncountable so option b and option c are correct moving on to option d now this option was the tricky one and many students made a mistake over here it says that set of all the subsets of r that is 2 raised to c that is 2 raised to continuum and which is greater than continuum so which is not possible and which have a bijection with r will not be and d will not be correct because 2 raised to c that is 2 raised to continuum is having greater cardinality than continuum itself and so the correct answer are option b and option c moving on the next question we have it as let p be a square matrix such that p square equals to p then which of the following statements are true the options are trace of p is an irrational number trace of p is equals to rank of p trace of p is an integer and d trace of p is an imaginary complex number this was a very simple question if you just know few properties of matrix and you knew about types of matrices let us begin we have been given that p square equals to p which means that p is an idempotent matrix remember each year in any competitive exam you will always get a question depending on the types of matrices that is symmetric skew symmetric involuntary idempotent orthogonal orthonormal and hermitian skew hermitian and so on so whenever you are preparing linear algebra do not forget to prepare the types of matrices their rank their nullity their trace determinant characteristic polynomials minimal polynomials as well as jordan blocks because each year you will always get two to three questions depending on this topic that to having a heavy weightage now let us concentrate on this question it is given that p square equals to p which means that p is idempotent now suppose you don't know about types of matrices then simply consider p equals to i then you will get i square equals to i i is nothing but the identity matrix they have not said that you cannot take i so you can consider i as a example but be very careful when you are solving in any other exam because sometimes they do mention that you do not take i as an correct option but here we can consider p equals to i then option e says trace of p is an irrational number no that is not correct because here trace of p will be sum of the entries on the diagonal of identity matrix and that will give you n that will be a natural number here i can be any n cross n matrix moving on the second option we have trace of p equals to rank of p and this is correct because rank of i is n and trace of a will also be n that is trace of the matrix that is trace of p will be n because we will just add the diagonal entries of the identity matrix so option b is correct now option c trace of p is an integer yes it is also correct because trace of p will be again n n is a natural number as well as an integer also so it is correct and the last option d says trace of p is an imaginary complex number it is not correct because we have it as an integer so the correct answers are option b and option c moving on to the next question we have let p be an odd prime such that p is congruent to 2 mod 3 let f p be the field with p elements 
then consider the subset E of Fp cross Fp given by E equals to xy belongs to Fp cross Fp such that y square equals to x cube plus 1. Then which of the following are correct? And the options are A. E has at least two elements. B. E has at most two p elements. C. E can have p square elements. And D. E has at least two p elements. Now let us solve this question. But for that we need to take again an example. So always remember when you are solving any question in any competitive exam and if you do not remember the results, you can take example and try to eliminate the options that are not correct. So you will get the options that are correct. Here we consider p equals to 5 because 5 is congruent to 2 mod 3 so it is correct. Now we need a field that is f5. You can take it as z5 with the elements 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Then you need to make e that is a pair xy belongs to z5 cross z5 such that y square equals to x cube plus 1. So firstly we create e. So elements in e will be first will be 0 1 because 0 cube plus 1 that is nothing but 1 and that is on the right hand side y square that is 1 square itself and the second element in the e will be 2 cube plus 1 that is 2 and 3 that is 8 plus 1 9 and that is nothing but 3 square. So we got two elements in e that is 0 comma 1 and 2 comma 3 that is two elements. You can try you will not get any other element in this e for this example. Now let us check one by one which options are correct and which are not correct. Option a says e has at least two elements definitely correct we found one for that. Moving on option b says e has at most two p elements. Now this was a bit question having a twist in language. It says that e has at most two p elements does not say that e has exactly 2p elements which means that at most 2p means maximum it can have 10 elements but it is not saying anything about the minimum elements so it means at less than equals to 10 maximum 10 but here 2 is correct because it is definitely less than 10 so option b is also correct option c says e can have p square elements now here we have p as 5 so it means that e should have 5 square that is 25 elements and total in z5 cross z5 you know that it will be having 25 elements but this is not possible because if it was correct then x comma x should also belongs to e and if x comma x belongs to e it will imply that x square equals to x cube plus 1 which is a contradiction so it is, it is not possible to have p square elements in e and total elements in z5 are also 25 so if all the elements are in e then it is not possible so option c is not correct and option d says e has at least 2p elements now here they are using the word at least which means minimum it should have 10 because here our p is 5 but it is not possible because we are getting only two elements that is less than 2p so option d is incorrect as well and hence the correct answers are option a and option b Thank you and for more videos you can join us on our social club and watch 190 plus videos on our YouTube channel and get a complete study material on our Telegram channel. Thank you.